I explained to my mom what happened. She's not mad at me about the food anymore, but, but, <laughs> but it was good. Mm. It was good. You would have enjoyed it. Okay. Nice. Well, the game fucking stunk, so I hope the food was good. I fell asleep in that motherfucker. Super <laughs> Bowl <laughs> Sunday. It's the first a, Super Bowl in history that I've ever fallen asleep during. That's not true. Damn, Pat Mahomes looked that true. bad? That shit was sleepy. That's not true. You wasn't. I thought, you, I thought you, Patty, you, didn't, you didn't watch Denver versus Seattle in full. You didn't. No, that's true. I walked away from that. It's different than falling asleep. I, I thought I thought Tommy was gonna have a lot of trouble with Patty. Whatever year that was that Carolina showed up, you didn't watch that in full. <laughs> I think that was Wait, a good Carolina Super Bowl. Patriots? That was a good game. That ended on a field goal, I wanna yeah. say. <laughs> was it? Yeah, that was a good I'm game. I'm confusing them with somebody else. Then. Yeah. All right, good. Um just say what it thought. is. Pat Mahomes looked like shit. Well, his offensive line was all injured, so I I give him a little bit of a pass. He looked like shit. That's true. His offensive line was not there, but he was quite rattled. He looked because of it like, like shit. Every time they went in, how on about his face? everyone give their own opinions on what they saw? <laughs> no, we all saw the same game. We must didn't, but it's cool. No, we saw the same. I game. think the defense schemed. Very Are you well going to give us the refs? Todd, thing? Todd Bowles is the man. <laughs> Todd Bowles is the man. Don't give us the refs take. Todd Bowles. Yeah, yeah he saw, schemed very well for him. I saw Savon the next day. At the see the thing is pod and when I walked in he gave me that same energy he was like ooh say something now what's his name what's his name what is, you, what is his name saying, you know his fucking name Thomas Brady <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know yeah I know yeah, Thomas I know. Brady yeah. Thomas and you owe me another thousand yeah. dollars now you up two his name yeah is Thomas mm. Brady no, we knew you can call him before. Goat we, for short we knew his name before the game I tried to tell you that, but you yeah. wouldn't listen to me. You guys, that's what makes it fun to root against the greats. Yeah, no, but you you weren't just You're rooting little, against yeah. the great. You thought that you thought that he didn't have a chance of winning this I'm game. I'm a Giants fan. What does that mean? No. What does that mean? You figure it out. No, I'm, I'm asking you. What does it mean? What do you mean? What does it mean? Well, they they have his number twice, but listen, it took two miracles. In those Who games. cares? When Savon said that to me, I immediately told him that I'm phony, nigga, and I don't care. Don't try to hold me to things that I come in here and say on the podcast. I'm phony, and I come in here and just say shit sometimes for content, right? That's one. Uh, two, I also said before this started that I wouldn't be mad if it went the other way. You would totally understand that. It went the other way pretty significantly. Yeah, though. but no, 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 no. My thing is this, though. It nah. was just it was just the, the way you were speaking about Pat Mahomes, and I don't, I've never heard do you talk about a player like that? Well, that's his man crush. Yeah, but but still, you gotta you you gotta put some a little more. You could say the things for content, between, but you gotta but, put more respect on Brady's name, though. You have to, and you weren't doing it. I learned that against the Packers. I was like, I'm I'm not betting against Tom Brady again. Yeah, you're not. not you didn't happening. do that. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm saying. You was like Pat Mahomes. What's his name? And I'm like, all right. You know, how all right, but the difference in our he opinions, looked bad, so, and yeah. that's where we have our difference. He looked in really opinions. bad. I did not think that Patrick Mahomes looked bad. I think that he was. Uh, out, I think out schemed that and- Patrick Mahomes still looked exactly like the five hundred million dollar no, quarterback. No, he did not. Let me just finish my point, Fuck and then no. you can respond. He looked to all like of a fifty dollar quarterback. No, man. all right, I'm, I'm not talking about him anymore. <laughs> I still million. think that Patrick Mahomes displayed probably some of the finest incompletions I ever saw. No, we not while battling. I can't let you get that off, Joe. The finest. I know what Joe's saying. Can I, no, can no, I talk? He, he, can, I talk? Can, I talk? Yeah. Yeah. can I talk? No, that's not a but real thing. Talk, and then you can, re- nah, you can reply to passes. everything. You can reply to everything I'm saying. Yeah. My memory's bad, so let me just get this dump out of my brain, and y'all can reply to all of it. But my opinion, yes, he threw some of the finest incompletions <clears throat> that I had ever seen. Me. He also had turf toe. He also, they put out the stat that he ran 500 yards behind the line of scrimmage. (laughs) And somehow in all of that, he found a way to hit receivers in the helmet with the ball. Yeah. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm not saying uh, Patty's not built for it. He looks like. He's obviously built for it. He has a ring. He looked like. Yeah, but this is where, let me just walk back all of my stupid ticks. He looked like the only one built for it. On that team. Nah, I wouldn't say that. Either. Oh, please. Who else showed up? 
Um, Name one chief. That well, you, well, you up. know, part of not showing up is due to the other team's dominance. No, no, I want right? I want to get to their greatness. Okay, but I just want to okay. focus on my bad take right okay. now. Okay, okay. Who else showed up? In your opinion, we don't <sighs> even have to. T- None of them showed up. If it's you want hard, to tell me about well, Travis Kelsey's garbage yards, it's hard. That he to, it's got. hard to say who didn't show up. I'll tell you who didn't show up was the offensive line. So it's hard to say who else showed up when. The main thing that makes everything oh, work. Oh, please. Young Patrick bought them some time running around back yeah. there. Niggas still couldn't get open or catch a ball. But I'm not here to talk discuss that. Some of the things that, that took me by surprise. And I lost money. I bet big Kansas City the whole way. I bet Kansas City won a coin toss. I bet that it would be heads. I bet that Patrick Mahomes would have over 400 yards. I bet that he would have a fucking touchdown in whatever quarter. Like, I just went heavy Chiefs because I thought they would win the game. Mm. But be clear, once the game started, no, not once the game started. Once uh, Duke from the Chiefs started talking crazy to Tom Brady, I was no longer rooting for the Chiefs. <laughs> Tyrone Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. I was, no longer, beast, I was no longer rooting for Patrick Mahomes. I was no longer rooting. I didn't care at that point because I got offended on my couch <laughs> sitting at home. As somebody who was rooting for the Chiefs and put all the money on the Chiefs, like Maul is saying to me, it's something to be said for when dudes is who they who are, who they are. Like Tom is Tom, and that's what I was feeling like in my living room. Mm. Hey, Pat's the man, and he getting killed, but he's still a man. You niggas can't just walk, run behind Tom and talk. Tyrone Matthews a beast, but you should not talk to Tom like that. So that pissed me off, and it made me look at things really differently. Differently. <clears throat> First of all, y'all are a pretty finesse team. And I think that if y'all do that and stand up in it, then y'all could beat anybody. But the downside about being a pretty finesse team is when you get punched in the face. Now, I've seen them respond well to getting punched in the face. They got some tough This guys didn't that team. look like anything that I've ever seen before in terms of responding to getting punched in the face. I've never, I, I would have never imagined this. Even in the second quarter, I thought that this game would get a little closer because I believed in Andy Reid's adjustments. But beforehand, if you tell me that Andy Reid is not going to make one adjustment the whole game, mm-hmm. then nobody is ever going to say, hey, Pat. if you tell me that Andy Reid is going to get outclassed and outcoached by Bruce Arians. Bruce Arians is a great coach. I, he is, but not. I didn't put him in Andy, Andy Reid, outclass kind of Andy Reid land, and that's what I saw. I don't even think I saw a Travis Kelsey block the whole game. You watching what's happening on the line? Yeah. Your quarterback is running for his life. Yeah. When are you gonna help? Yeah. Shaq Barrett, like, ah, <laughs> uh, like what? Yeah. Man, I went to go make food. Can, I you, root, can you I, imagine though if this was a pocket passer? Toast. <laughs> toast. Like how how crazy the Super Bowl would have been? Yeah. If that wasn't Patrick Mahomes I running wanted, away, I wanted the Bucks to run the score up on him. Because this is well, a part. Brady aired it out in the last this, drive. For of the me, more. Right. This is a huge part. That greatness that I speak about, Patrick Mahomes having, I believe that he has it. But this is a huge part in him becoming as great as he should be. This is a huge lesson. I didn't like how he handled the post game. I saw a lot that I didn't like. Oh, I turned it off before I got to the post game. <laughs> me neither. But I, I eventually heard it, okay. and he said something to the effect of, "Hey, the O line let some guys through today." Mm. and there were some receivers that maybe had a hard time getting open today, and we have to do a better job as a team. Yeah. So hopefully next time when we work harder. I didn't like that. The, the bottom line like is that. it was just a, a more aggressive team, and Tampa Bay was the more aggressive team. They uh, His name they, is they were, Thomas. <laughs> oh, yeah, Listen, no, that's, a, that's a fact. So I was mad at Matthews for talking to Tom like that, and, and then I was like, yo. I you, wasn't mad at that. You're going to learn. No, you're going to learn. Right, that's, that's football. No, yeah, not, but not nah, to Tom. Not to Tom. You don't want to Tom. Tom. Listen, no, no, here's, no, no, here, no, no, here's the thing now. You can talk that, but now when you have a quarterback like Tom Brady that's going to target you yeah. the next five, six plays in a row. Yeah. But usually you got, he's, you got a, a, he's a Pro Bowl safety. He's a great player. Yeah. I like him. The yeah. very next Tom thing, Brady's just a different player. The very next thing they showed us after that interaction between them two was Tom like this on the sideline? <laughs> and when they showed that on the screen, I went to make a plate of shrimp and grits. He said, pull, pull up all of his plays on the surface. This game is over. <laughs> when Tom is on the side with his head down, yeah. and then it's like he must have called the CBS production team 
Then they started getting these picture perfect shots of his killer eyes. <laughs> Every face from that point on was my whoever was watching in my living room died. You knew what was coming. <laughs> You've seen this look before. He didn't stand a chance once they started showing that stuff. Yeah. And once that happened, I also I started to realize how many people on Tampa Bay I actually wanted to get a ring. Forget Tom. I wanted Leonard Fournette to get a ring. I like him a lot. They wrote him off, they waved him. Even he mentioned it afterwards. Like, I ain't forget. Yeah, I like that. I wanted, I wanted uh JPP. Get another one. Yeah. Giants. Hey, it's Giants here. Uh Todd Bowles. Yeah. Wanted him to get that whole coaching staff. Byron was Leftwich, JPP yeah. still playing? Byron Leftwich. Yeah. Wanted I, I, him to get I, I, one. I was, I was, I was, me personally, I was just happy that Antonio Brown got a ring. Antonio Brown. Sure. Good to see it be going. That was that to me, that 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 shows the type of person that Brady is to make it his business to to get Antonio Brown on his team. And then not only that, got him action in the Super Bowl. He has a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Yeah. You Shit. know what I mean? Like that that should that says a lot about somebody's character. Because he Tom Brady, he's very calculated. He knows what all of that meant. He knows what it means to Antonio Brown, everything he's been through, not only to win a Super Bowl, but I actually have a touchdown in the Super Bowl. See, but I've been watching this, um, to expound on Maul's point, since Tom Brady and Bill Belichick was allegedly fighting. And one of the things they were, they were fighting, fighting about was Antonio Brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when Antonio Brown was making all of those apology videos, I'm sure, especially in hindsight now, that... You were trying to get back in the good graces so you could get in there because you knew that Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time, was fighting for you on the inside. And I'm sure that was one of the fights that they had. And then when he goes to the new team, it was a fight there too. Bruce Arians said, nigga, no. <laughs> we don't need him. I don't want him. He's a distraction. They needed him to win that game. Yeah. They needed him to win the that season. game. The season they needed him. Yeah, man. Uh, I just want to congratulate. And, I want to congratulate Gronk, the Bucks. Gronk is a perfect example of. I was happy for of, him. Of finessing. Yeah. I heard Lashawn McCoy that was on that you. team. He was on this roster. He is. Yeah, he was third string. That. Third string running back. Yeah. That's dope. I no, know fucking that. on the Bucks. Gronk? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wasn't Lashawn McCoy in the Chiefs? No, he was on the Bills. Oh, last year. Last year. Happy for oh, Lashawn wait. McCoy. In between, uh, the one Bills? of the greatest backs in the Bills NFL. Before Chiefs. No, not running yeah, back. He has a really nice back. I told you guys, right? I didn't tell y'all about Starless that time. No, nah, right, I, I don't remember. I, you my, saw my, his my brain back didn't in retain Starlitz? that. Was yeah. he stripping? No, I did tell y'all story. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, my, my brain didn't retain. I told y'all when me and him had smoke over something I didn't remember, and I hugged him, and his back was strong, and I realized <laughs> I, I should squash it. This is yeah. This is this not the guy. Yo, I didn't you. mean that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, content. Uh, of course, yeah, that, not. Was just that was just satire. That was content. That's what it's called, yeah. satire. Satire. I had to say that on the phone. Um, I spoke to Omar Epps like a couple days ago, right? And he on the phone giving y'all y'all. Y'all shit like, yo, man, what y'all do is a pod, man. Change the game. Love y'all. Hmm. I was like, yo, man. I said, yo, that's crazy, man. Rory, step on this amazing story. <laughs> step on this amazing story right now with this joke. So he's, he's giving us our props. He's like, yo, man, you niggas changing the game. Revolutionary, blah, blah, blah. Big fan of y'all. So what you say when somebody say that? You guessed it. Yo, man, we all huge fans of you, too. Yeah. And he said, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he said he don't Omar know. Omar Epps doesn't think we're fans of he Omar said, Epps. <laughs> he said, yeah, I don't know about that, Joe. Whoa. Put the phone back. Yo, what you mean? Oh? <laughs> oh. His name is Omar. His name is Yo, Omar. Oh, why you feel like that? Oh, oh that's because Joe was shitting on his movie on Netflix. Oh. Uh, Oh, the, ah. the, oh, come on, oh. I come forgot, on, oh. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah. I went too crazy, though. Yeah, you did. <laughs> come on, oh, you can't hold us for nah, that I went. one. I went. Well, why you didn't and you didn't even go it. crazy because it was Omar. But no, that, no, no, that's no, not no. even why you went crazy. No, 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 that's no, not no, even no, why no, you went crazy. Did he see that movie? That's not why you went crazy. But he reminded me of the phone. He's like, yeah, you called me fat. Omar, let me be. You called me a fat face fuck. You said, uh. You said, how am I still getting movies? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said, you said, you said yeah, I you never should have acted uh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. oops. He's like, oh, come on, Omar. I'm like, come on, man. I didn't mean any of that. Nah, he yeah, still, yeah. Omar, he said, he still Omar, he said loving basketball movie, sucks. I never said <laughs> Nobody that. Nobody can ever say that. that. No, no one has ever said, said that. that. But no. that, that was just hilarious. It was hilarious. But he understood. He didn't take, he didn't take offense to it. He was like, I know his content, whatever. He's killed it in uh, This Is Us. Well, let Joe tell it. I haven't seen This Is Us since season two. Oh. You, you, yeah, you, the last season was really good. We us to me. Psst. 
Shout out to Omar Epps, though. I said Absolutely. we us. You yeah. shout niggas out. <laughs> shout just, shout shout yourself out, out. Shout yourself out right what now. Think about the, uh, the ball. What y'all think about the Super Bowl uh, performance? Halftime performance. The weekend? Yeah. Uh, that's that's when I fell All asleep. Right. I'm not going to lie. All right. You guys, you guys are going to hate me. Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. <laughs> you guys are going to hate me. And I'm not being safe. I liked it. I thought it was good. I'm with you on that. I thought it was a good I performance. The performance was good. I, I think, think people, I think everything but when they focus because the weekend will even tell you you're not the dancing performer type. Erickson, this is not the Patreon episode. Right? The whole <laughs> safe opinions. All right, put the safe opinions out. Right, <laughs> the whole performance and production was fucking fire. No, nah, that production. It was whoa, amazing. The stage team. The stage. The y'all, the first, y'all a bunch of y'all think really that stage. <laughs> nah, the, performance, was crazy. the performance was really like, good. If y'all don't think that oh, was crazy, I don't know what y'all was watching. That set design? Come on, man. This part two is Look, fire. Blinded by the lights and it's nothing but lights behind him? Come on, man. Come and on. it was hard to see. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Sometimes I feel good. like people just want to hate shit to hate it. Of no, course. I just, duh. Like, I just want to point but out. But no, like, some, like I just want to say, at no point have Parks or myself said we hated this. No, I'm not talking about y'all. I, okay. I fell asleep. The, the Twitter, That's what I fell asleep. Twitter said no, that the, the social media was That's killing what I'm, I'm not talking about y'all. Was like, this was y'all. horrible. This was trash. Oh. And I was like, okay, did y'all expect The weekend to sound like Luther Vandross? Like, I don't understand who y'all thought he was going to sound like. Ooh, the mask dancers are blinded by the light. Ooh, yeah. bumping into Even this other. was dope because it fit I right into his was whole, hard. Nigga, whole, I wouldn't... Yeah. I was getting my dick sucked when weekend was performing, all right? The fuck it, you think I was glued to my living room couch? Ooh, blinding lights. Dep- depends yo, how good yo, she yo, was. Ma, come upstairs right quick. <laughs> no, I respect that. I'm, I'm joking, saying, I'm by saying the way. That, um, I'm kidding. The, I am. The performance Corey, was dope. Corey, why are you standing right here? Can you go, <laughs> back, can you go upstairs? The performance was great. I liked it. The set was dope. The um, <laughs> Ooh, head or the weekend? <laughs> head, head over the head, weekend. Head, head, head to the weekend. weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Such a tough decision. You put it on your phone. <laughs> No, uh, I, I thought it was hard. I didn't see it, so I can't say. I did see the internet uh, killing him, but... I'll know, be honest with you, asleep. I'm not quite sure why they did. This, this was put together really, really things. well. The internet kills everything. That's true. This, yeah, that's this was, was a fucking amazing performance to me, internet. Um, and I love that he brought in House of Balloon shit. Like, mm-hmm. it is kind of wild that in 2011, some person that would not show their fucking face that only wanted to sing about cocaine, and is still singing about cocaine... Is the halftime shit, especially during the Pepsi halftime show, and it's all about Coke. This I loved all of it. Pretty cool. Yeah, this was dope. I didn't see. This and they part. still they still played. No, the, to the field whole... shit was the best part. Hey, the, that, the blind about, cool. the, he keeps saying blind by the lights, but that was the best part of the show. No, this was dope. It was this a shit was hard. Man. I think he did a great job. He did yeah, a great job. I don't know where. I don't know what the internet wants anymore, man. <laughs> did you guys? <laughs> did you guys have a take on uh, the? Uh, Star Spangled Banner or, or oh, uh, Star Jazz. I mean, that's Jazz what it was. Was. Yeah, you know she, it was. I don't know why it's just funny to me. Do you have a take I mean, on Jazz, Star Spangled Banner? Great song. song. The Star Spangled Banner. Why is that being performed? <laughs> no, Jasmine, she 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 killed it. Jasmine did Eric Church did a good job too. Eric Church did a good job. He did a good job, yeah. did a good job too. Uh, weird man. And her. But the, he still did a real good job. Yeah, it's a weird pairing for sure. Her uh, did a great job uh, too. We know NFL fans are, for the most part, not fans of. Of black people. So, yeah, they had to mix that in. Eric Church was getting his shit off until Jasmine started ad-libbing. Yeah. Then Eric Church said, oh, Melanin Queens, let me just fall back with my guitar. Yeah. <laughs> hit, him, hit him with my fist move every he sh- now He should have done that earlier, I'll be honest with he you. He thought the purple jacket was going to get Jasmine's <laughs> runs out of here. Sorry, Eric Church. That was a good it's a jacket. Nice jacket. That was a good jacket. Real, real good jacket. I thought Eric Church was sauced out, but Jasmine is Jasmine. Yeah, coming he got off, the nice Gretsch guitar. Coming off you. a cult classic project. Just good time. Just no, good Jasmine time. sounded amazing. But Her, she, she it's, always It's does. great when both mics are EQ'd the exact same, but one just... It's just a little better and louder. More power. Yeah. Yeah. Her did a great job, too. Jasmine looked amazing, too. Her could. Out, outside her of sounding amazing. Yeah. Her and and when I saw Jasmine perform, perform, and I saw her perform, it dawned on me that I wanted, I need more R&B posse cuts. Mm. I don't understand why all of these, with R&B thriving the way it is, oh, I hate to be the thriving guy. Um uh, <laughs> But with so many songstresses, oh, I hate to be the songstress. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. I know man. exactly what you're saying. Her, like, like back in the day, like with the Wade and Excel soundtrack, like you got the best singers and they all got in a song to talk about how one nigga hurt them. And if Jasmine and her and and uh, 
Janae and Ella May, and if they start doing that today, oh, it's over for niggas. With a Meg or Cardi like, like, to come that, in, that is kind of why I like the movie. And you said Waiting in the XL, I think it's a great example. I think that's why the reemergence of movie soundtracks coming back is an important thing because a lot of them won't. They're too big for their careers to be like, all right, I can't do the posse cut as my single. It just may not work. It don't with, have to, with we don't have to be publishing all that. I still like, want to We could just it. go do that on a movie soundtrack. Her came out. I had that vest. All she did was put sleeves on it. <laughs> now she's styling, killing 2021. <laughs> that, that would make it a, ja- a jacket. Super Bowl look was so big. You seen her. Her had to bring titties out. Titties was tittying. Huh? She That's sounded great. Y'all she made did. her bring the titties out. Like, think about it. No, her been just chilling, just trying to play the guitar and we've literally, harmonize her way into our hearts. And we've literally never seen anything for, but the jawline up. I've never seen... I've seen her hands maybe once. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. She's amazing. She's awesome. She's amazing. Yeah, no, she's great. What else do we need to talk about with the Super Bowl? Uh, uh, performances, halftime, winners, losers. Was it the best run by a quarterback ever? Yes. I mean, it's, it's up there. Who, who you mean best who run by who? who? You knock off better... Breeze, Rodgers, and uh, Mahomes? Yeah, who yeah I don't know how he would have beat hard. Alex Smith in them. <laughs> Shut up. It, it, nah, was, it all, was the best run. Man, Chase, and he said the Chase best run Young, period. what a threat that was. I don't care about the first round. I'm talking about Breeze, Rodgers, and Mahomes. That's impressive. You solidified your generation of quarterbacking. <laughs> man, Mahomes got his ass beat, man. That's, and that's a fact. <laughs> he got his hey, ass beat. Scored only scored field goals. First time in his career. And I didn't like all the things I loved about Pat. I didn't like after after he lost. Like that, it's, it's, you gotta. It's, it's comes a time where you have to tone the arrogance down. Like he said, "Yeah, man, it's the worst anybody's beaten me in a long time." Got it. <laughs> got it, fam. Like if you think that's tasteful right now. Beating me. Like, I don't want to hear me. Mm. I don't want to hear me. Your team got beat. And I think I under, I under, I underplayed how important it would, or how disruptive it would be that accident that Andy Reid's son got in. Like, cause when I had to figure out why he's not making any adjustments, it led mm. me to the accident. <laughs> and I think I downplayed just the effect that might have on the locker room versus the locker room, the opposing locker room where, Dude's been waiting for Pretty Boy to pull up. Mm-hmm. All the dope quarterbacks been waiting for Pretty Boy to pull up. Yeah. So only fitting that Tom is the one that 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 does this. You think we get a rematch next year? No, I don't. I don't think that. Um, I don't think it's far fetched at all. No, nah. I don't. I don't. I don't see. I don't see Kansas City getting back there for. A while. I would have to see really? what. I would have no, to see Kansas what City. the Bucks got in the books. I don't see it. Like I who, only maybe don't. I think see that it magic that we saw for is the old. Chiefs. I think a lot because of because the Rams are looking at that footage. <laughs> I also could see a lot of players from, but they have a, they have a Pro Bowl team, damn near. And granted, a lot of the players are older, but they a lot a, of them can go and get checks. And not go not and get older. Checks. Some of them, uh, some of them are free agents. That's what I'm saying. Well, some of them are older, so you might get them a little bit cheaper or whatever. But I think that. There's definitely a lot of free Leonard agents, Frenette, and it's going to hard gonna, to keep all them. Deal. Leonard Fournette, I would assume you have to pay. Maybe they don't feel like that because of Ronald Jones. Yeah, Shaq Barrett, you have to pay. Fucking uh, is that Devin White? Is he up? No, Devin White should Levant, be up. Levante David is up. Chris no, Godwin is up. No, they might have to franchise their Devin White now. When he come in? No, he's got another year. It's one more year. year before. The, you sure? Yeah. Okay. They got decisions to make over there. Bottom line. Yeah. If I'm Brady, I'm done. No, he had a two-year deal. Yeah, but I'm, st- I'm I'm done. Fuck that last year. Yeah, but I'm uh, for what? Yeah, because I get to the Super Bowl with the ease. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but that. But when you're not 40, feel what I'm all saying, but but when you're 43, fucking easily. Yeah, but when I you're get 43, there with the ease. Yeah, but 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 listen, this is football, and it's only one play mm-hmm. where your entire life after football can change. And when you're 43 years old and you're a quarterback, you have seven Super Bowl rings. Yeah, but, 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 to get, you don't, but to get you to don't, seven you Super Bowls, even, you have a different type you of competitive brain. You don't even think brain. about that when the ball leaves your hand as fast as it leaves Tom Brady. And that's one of the differences I was spotting in the game, too. Like, okay, I see why Patrick Mahomes is running for his life. It's taking him a little while. They can't get open down there. Tom Brady, you only got but maybe three milliseconds 
to try to get he the ball is out. Fast release, the ball is out. Yeah, it's going but, right. but and still. that don't matter if I'm 43, 44, 40. That's a brain thing. Yeah, but still, that's man, a brain you, thing. This is this is football. This is probably the most dangerous. Sport. We ain't seen Tom Brady injured since Matt Hassel had to come. I, in. I know that, and we haven't seen Tom Brady at forty three years old either. This organization is going to want to protect that man. Okay, I I enjoy. They have the, a really good offense. I enjoyed the pe- really good, really <laughs> good. I enjoyed the petty shit after the game from Donald Trump. Where do? Like I knew he was, I knew he was waiting. I Where love petty shit sometimes. Well, because uh, uh, his office offered that humanitarian award or whatever that award was to Bill Belichick, mm. and then Bill Be- Bill Belichick declined, uh-huh. wanted nothing to do with that. Uh-huh. So of course, when Tom Brady won, Donald Trump tweeted, "It was always Tom." Mm. Donald Trump. It was can't always tweet. the player. Yeah, he can't tweet. He didn't tweet that. He can't. He doesn't have a Twitter. He put it out somewhere. Oh, that wasn't Twitter. We put it out somewhere. Maybe Alex will find it for us. Yeah, well, no, man. I just like the petty shit, man. Overall, really good Sunday. I had a real good, real good time. Enough about the game. Congrats to congrats to uh the Bucks and the GOAT Tom Brady. I was wrong for you people that think that I can't admit when I was wrong. I was wrong. And it was fun being wrong. It was a lot of fun being wrong. No, um, I disagree. Congrats. I actually would have liked to see a real game, but that's just no, so it was that wasn't game. that invested. It, it was a real game. You just wasn't expecting Pat Mahomes to look like that. That was a real game. They, like they, just, they did what they had to do out there. It was a real game. He was running for his life. That's a real, like, that's was, a real Super Bowl they yeah. got. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, mean, I was in home real, saying, but I mean real game, a close game is what I mean. You want more entertainment. Yeah, but yes. I was yeah. sitting, I was sitting home saying to myself, I'd love for this game to be close, but I understand why Tom wouldn't. <laughs> of course not. I understand why the Bucks. Uh, I don't defensive think, front wouldn't. I don't think Tom Brady goes in hmm let me try to keep this close no I think he goes in no, there for blood he's every going game. in there to win and I like the fact that his teammates were saying how he Tom Brady texted him every night at 11pm at 11 PM. PM. Mm-hmm. and said we will win mm. every single night leading up to the game like that just does little things like that does something to you as a player they get you ready yeah, yeah. yeah. Tom Brady is texting you that yeah what you what you thinking at the crib? We gonna win. I'm if like, Brady feeling not, like every night he texts you. Why you sending me this at eleven o'clock? I gotta yeah, go to sleep soon. You exactly. got me hype. <laughs> no, I know why he's sending at that time. That uh, around eleven p.m. is the time that you could usually make a great decision or uh, a bad one, especially as an athlete. Gotcha. Eleven p.m. Tom Brady texting me. Let me shut up. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, I'm chilling. And more. And I'll say this. I'm not saying this for you. Especially to argue in Tampa with Bay. <laughs> But that the defensive plan from the Bucks let me know how much respect they had for Patrick Mahomes. And you it worked. have to have respect and it for your opponent. You should always have respect for your opponent. Absolutely. I like Pat Mahomes. I just didn't like when you start hearing people just talk about these, you know, hot hot right now players and just try to like totally wipe away with somebody else that's still playing has on their mantle. And it's like, bro, he has six Super Bowl rings. Yeah. He's been there. Nine times, this is his tenth time he's been there. It's like, bro, this is the guy. Clearly, I Pat Mahomes. No, he's is been a, there ten times. Yeah. Well, now, yeah, ten. I'm just saying before the it's game. Crazy. It was not, my and thing is seven. Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes is a great player. He's that's a like great the equivalent athlete. of fifteen NBA championships. That's maybe, what I'm maybe, saying. Maybe that's more. not easy to <laughs> yeah. do, bro. Seven yeah. Super Bowl rings is that's that's insane. That's insane. And I don't think that that's equivalent to that. Well, Y'all keep saying that here, but I totally disagree. Absolutely. That. You know, yeah, hardest to get to the Super Bowl. That's not no, that's, because that's, I've never played. But I'm you sure can imagine. you can judge by the greats. No, it's super hard. <laughs> but I don't think that one Super Bowl is equivalent to mad NBA titles. I don't think I that. do. I'm not arguing with y'all to not think that. But playing 20 games and winning a chip, it's like I saw somebody put up the stat: Tom Brady versus Serena Williams, and they were saying that Serena Williams is the goat. And if y'all think Tom is the goat, then y'all should really acknowledge women more. And I'm like, uh, that's not the same. I don't. I don't. That's not. I don't get into that only the tennis because people yeah, but, play 97 yeah, 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 majors yeah, yeah, yeah. a but year. I don't, I don't get into that because that's literally me versus you. It's also it's yeah. so many pieces and players that have to everything has to go right. I don't get into it because the amount of majors that can be played in the same amount of time. Serena is playing. Ma- she can no, win. Serena ma- Williams. Did. If she somebody calls ma- Serena Williams the greatest athlete of all time, I have no argument with that. Can't, can't this woman either. won the Australian Open pregnant. Like I have no, I have no. The reason why they the reason why another twenty games. Yeah, but the reason why Super Bowl is more. The reason why Super Bowl is more difficult. At least from a scheduling sca- standpoint, is that the greatest teams play the greatest teams the next year in the NFL, whereas the NBA you play every team. So mm-hmm. if you are the the world champion, you are not going to play the shittiest team I, in the league unless they happen to be in your division. But they play. I disagree with all that. They, they, the, they, the just, whole, they just play the I mean, rest. It's not to disagree with the whole they, schedule in the NFL is rigged so that it's relatively even as far as who you play. And, the worst the players playoffs. in each division play each other. You don't play 
The shitty teams don't play the good teams that often. You don't. You play who makes the playoffs. Well, okay. I'm and, talking and about the playoffs, to are, get to the the playoffs, playoffs are also one game. It's not a series. It's one game. You know, easy it can be for a the less team to beat the greater team off one game. Series don't work that way. My thing is just the 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 and the, the physical the, toll of football is. Way that's different. what I'm. That's what I'm more so speaking of. The that's why it's played once a week instead of The physicality of, of football. You one play. Your best player can break his leg, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's like that that's just – so many things have to go right to win a Super Bowl. So yeah. many things have to be what they need to be. Like, one player goes down, like we said, Pat Mahomes. He lost two players on his offensive line. That did affect the game. That mm. did affect the team. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not no, – Your most, your most athletic that. players play the least in the NFL. Your right. running backs and receivers, for the most part, don't have a very long lifespan because they're fucking getting – Destroyed every week Right yeah. It's just a difference it's, But again If somebody wants to call Serena I think she's one of the greatest athletes of all time as well Sure So if somebody feels like that Cool But I don't compare Tennis <laughs> and football And I don't. I just don't do that I, I can't compare One on one sport Versus a team sport I But listen We're in a basement On a couch So we should shut the fuck up <laughs> Agree <laughs> And not be those guys 